Well, hey everybody. Well, it's been a minute. Um, I just um, went over to the other job. It's Sunday to uh, clean up uh, some pot gallon pails and stuff. And I stopped over here. Um, Jeff moved. Which track was it? Uh, it was this one. I went to the logging expo over the weekend. And, uh, hold on a second. There we go. Um, and I just came back. Jeff moved the buncher on the processor, um, which was really nice because I didn't, it was kind of last minute. I didn't have the, I already had plans. So, and they wouldn't have been able to move it Monday. So it would have been Tuesday. But, uh, that's the planetary that, uh, so they moved this from, uh, Tire Cat the dealer. And, uh, or our local dealer and because the seal in the planetary uh, was blown out so they had to I think they I didn't I think they had to pull the whole planetary off to do that seal and I guess it was full of dirt just the way it pushed in and um, um, what was I gonna say um, but anyways they looked at it and said everything was fine so luckily I caught it before and I'm sure I mentioned it but get up here and I haven't really looked at kind of tap the door here but let's get in here and we'll show you guys the... so we put all new pumps on this bad boy so all three of these pumps are remand like remand pumps um but this old girl had a bunch of hours on it and uh i figured it was time so this one this one and that one and then i'll show you in a minute i replaced the uh the hydraulic reversing fan pump too so figured i think some people um question why I did it but this machine has um hold on a second here has uh so I was trying to get up here and show you this um you can see it and this is the hydraulic reversing fan motor um Replace that too, and apparently um, there's a adapter shaft between the shaft and the motor and the fan, which was junk, so they had to replace that. And they found a couple, I don't know which ones they were, but it had always been kind of wet in here around these ejectors when I bought it, but they found that... Um, Um, one of these little, whatever they call them, was cross right and one of the O-rings was bad, so it was leaking fuel. So they fixed that. And they fixed a, um, they fixed a, uh, a wire for the accumulators, which was good. Accumulator arm was... It, it had issues usually when you first started it, so it must have been some. Once it warmed up, it seemed to come out of it, but it was a broken wire, I guess. So, um, but, um, put this back up. So I think some people probably look at me like I'm crazy for doing all that work anyways I was starting to say there um, seems like the batteries are a little dead in this Jeff had mentioned that it seemed like it was turning over pretty slow which it seems to be so I don't know um, maybe the batteries it was fine before so um, either batteries or alternator but anyways um, I think some people thought I was a little crazy for spending the money that we did on this, but um, 
Um, and also this is the first job that we're going to start for the year. But uh, um, thought it was a little crazy for spending the money on this that I did. Because it was like you know, it was a good chunk of change for all those pumps and that track seal and the couple other little things they did. Put all new filters, new hydraulic fluid. Um, um, I was going to say. And, um, but the other kind of, I guess, new that, let me get this phone here, is that, uh, part of the reason why I was going to do it, well, it also had friggin' 17,000 hours on the original pumps, and I wasn't having any trouble, but I'm going to lay wood down for another crew this year, so, um, I wanted to make sure that, uh, I was setting myself up for success as much as I could. And I didn't want to push this thing with original pump. So I think some people look at me a little cross-eyed. But I feel like it's kind of good insurance. Um, rather than letting the pumps blow up. Or contaminate the system. And who knows where. So anyways. Uh, I'm excited to try it. And see um, if I notice any difference. Um, um, any speed. They said uh, some of the pressures were a little low. So we'll see. I don't really know if that's something I'm going to notice. Um, so I just figured I'd do a little update and just show you guys. I was at the logging show, um, Friday and Saturday. We came back yesterday. Um, so hopefully this all works out well. Um, it'll be different for me this year, laying wood down for another cut to length crew. Um, and also a side note, I was, um, really quite impressed with, um, really quite impressed with the, um, the tire cat dealer um the shop rates i they ended up doing some other stuff that we didn't plan and really the total bill wasn't um a, a lot crazier than what the original quote was so um, i was pretty happy so um and that was my real first big service or repair work that i'd ever done with tire cat um the local dealer so as far as that experience goes it was great so um anyways like subscribe comment and um i'll do some more videos here once i I gotta change the oil in this thing and maybe the batteries we'll see um and uh um i'll try to get some more videos out here as we get started for the season thanks for watching uh, like subscribe comment we'll catch you later